This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. Next concept is hybridization. So here next concept is hybridization. The atomic orbitals combine to form a new set of equivalent orbitals that is known as hybrid orbitals you know atomic orbitals what is atomic orbitals they combine to form a new set of equivalent orbitals that is known as hybrid orbitals then the hybrid orbitals are used in bond formation that is the phenomenon is known as hybridization okay next salient features of hybridization so in that the first one is the number of hybrid orbital is equal to the number of atomic orbitals that get hybridized the number of the number of hybrid orbitals the number of hybrid orbitals is equal to the number of hybrid orbitals is equal to the number of the atomic orbitals that gets hybridized okay next the hybridized orbitals are always equivalent in energy and shape the hybridized orbitals are always equivalent in energy energy and shape okay next the hybrid orbitals are more effective in forming stable bonds than the pure atomic orbitals hybrid orbitals are hybrid orbitals are more effective in forming more effective in forming stable bonds okay so number of hybrid orbitals is equivalent to the number of atomic orbitals that get hybridized it means there are so many number of atomic orbitals so they are forming the hybridized orbital so that atomic orbitals only forming hybridized orbital that's why the number of hybridized orbitals is equal to atomic orbitals then after the hybridized orbitals they are always all the hybridized orbitals are having the same energy and same shape and our hybrid orbitals are more effective in forming stable bonds okay than the pure atomic orbitals next fourth one these hybrid orbitals are directed in space in some preferred direction to have a minimum repulsion between the electron pairs and thus a stable arrangement therefore the type of hybridization indicates the geometry of the molecule okay hybridization indicates hybridization indicates the geometry of the molecules okay so this is about the salient features of the hybridization i think you got one idea now see your number of uh, hybrid orbitals is equal to the number of atomic orbitals and the energy and shape of the all the hybrid orbitals remain same and uh, this is uh, hybrid orbitals are more uh, stable forming the more stable bonds then they indicates the geometry of the molecules next some important uh, conditions for hybridization some important conditions for hybridization okay 
so in this some important conditions of hybridization there are some conditions in that the first one the orbitals present in valence shell of the atom are hybridized orbitals which are present in the valence shell they can of the atom are hybridized valence shell okay the orbitals which are present orbitals present in the valence shell orbitals see you orbitals present in the valence shell they can the present in the valence shell of the atom are hybridized this is the one second one the orbitals undergoing hybridization should have almost equal energy they should have they should have almost equal energy next promotion of electron is not essential condition prior to hybridization promotion promotion of electron is not essential condition prior to hybridization okay next fourth one it is not necessary that only half filled orbitals participate in hybridization in some cases uh, uh, even uh, filled orbitals of valence shell take part in hybridization filled orbitals fully filled orbitals can also take part in hybridization can also take part in hybridization okay so these are the some important uh, some important uh, conditions for hybridization next there are some of the types of hybridization in that the first one is sp hybridization then there is a sp square hybridization third one sp cube hybridization okay in sp hybridization this type of hybridization involves uh, huh, this type of hybridization involves the mixing up of 1s orbital okay and 1p orbital like this okay 1p orbital and it is forming the equivalent sp this is forming sp hybridization the stable suitable orbitals for sp hybridization are s and p z here uh, yes and p z if the hybridized are of uh, lie along the z axis each hybrid contains 50 percent of s character this is 50 percent of s character and 50 percent of p character which is having here so this is the example becl2 molecule is the example for sp hybridization okay so here uh, it is forming the 180 degree of uh, angle in between them next this is about sp hybridization this is the example of this where 50 percent of s character 50 percent of p character it is having okay then there is uh, sp square hybridization in the sp square hybridization here it involves of 1s1 yes okay and 2p orbitals so that it is forming the sp square hybridization okay hybridized orbital the sp square hybridized and the bcl3 molecule this is the example for the sp square hybridization
next then the next thing is next is sp cube hybridization here this type of hybridization can be explained by taking the example of ch4 molecule in which there is a mixing of one s orbital and three p orbitals of the valence shell to form uh, four sp cube hybridized orbital of equivalent energies and shape here this yes of 25 percent and this is of 75 percent p orbital p character in it, this one okay so this is the formation of sp cube hybridized by combination of yes and px py pz atomic orbitals of carbon and the formation of ch4 molecule okay so this is sp cube hybridization then can we move on to the next this is formation of sigma wait formation of the sigma and pi bonds in ethene so this is the example for other examples of sp cube and sp square and sp hybridization here i am explaining you about how the formation of sigma and pi bonds in the ethene this is the example for sp square hybridization okay so in this sp square hybridization in the formation of the ethene molecule okay so uh, one of the sp square hybrid orbitals of carbon atom overlaps axially with the sp square hybridized orbital of another carbon atom to form the cc uh, this cc bond means it is also sp square hybridized this is also sp square hybridized orbitals so they are forming cc sigma bond what they are forming cc sigma bond they are forming and uh, next to while the other two uh, sp square hybrid orbitals of each carbon atom are used for making the sp square s sigma bond with the two hydrogen atoms the unhybridized orbital of one carbon atom overlaps sidewise with the similar orbital of the other carbon atom to form weak pi bonds okay so this is the formation of ethene sigma and pi bonds in okay next the formation of uh, next is the formation of the uh, sigma and pi bonds in ethene okay in this uh, sigma and pi bonds in ethene so here what happens in the formation of ethane molecule both the carbon atoms undergo sp hybridization both the first they are undergoing sp hybridization uh, are having the two unhybridized orbitals okay so first it is undergoing sp hybridization one sp hybrid orbital of one carbon atom overlaps axially with the sp orbital uh, of other carbon atom to form cc sigma bond it is like this one is overlapping with this and another one is overlapping this while the other hybridized orbital of each carbon atom overlaps axially with the half filled s orbital see here they are half filled s orbitals they are overlapping and uh, this is forming the sigma bond here it is a sigma bond two SPSP forming also sigma bond and one with the s and p orbitals also forming sigma bond each of the two unhybridized p orbitals of both the carbon atoms overlap like this here sidewise overlapping to form the pi bonds when they are overlapping sidewise it is forming the pi bonds and the next thing is uh, each of the unhybridized p orbitals of both the carbon atoms overlap sidewise to form the pi bonds between the carbon atoms so the triple bond between the two carbon atoms is made up of one sigma and two pi bonds okay here one this also with the hydrogen it is forming the sigma bond so this is about the formation of sigma and pi bonds in this next is this is the hybridization of the elements involving the d orbitals here everything is same but here involving of the d orbitals takes place dp s square uh, for square plane dp ds 
plus p square so this is the example for that and tri trigonal bipyramidal uh, that is sp cube uh, d s p cube plus d so p phi pcl5 this is the example and square pyramidal here it is the square pyramidal dsp cube dsp cube this is the example and octahedral this is the example so this is the hybridization of elements in d orbital so the hybridization is over now so this is the concept i think i have cleared about the hybridization in that there are three types sp hybridization sp square hybridization sp cube hybridization i have given the example also so and i given the example how do ethene uh, sp square hybridization and the next thing is this is eta and this is the example for sp hybridization okay